An Energy Performance Certificate, also known as an EPC, is a legal document that shows the energy performance of a property based on its running costs. An EPC will provide a rating for a property on a scale of A to G, with A being the most energy efficient and G being the least. There will also be a potential rating provided, which takes into consideration what the energy efficiency of a property could be if the recommendations provided on the certificate are followed. Not many people know, but an EPC is calculated based on standard occupancy, which roughly assumes a household of two adults and two children. In reality, this is not always the case, and how a property is actually used can be entirely different to this assumption. An EPC is required whenever a property is marketed for sale or rent, when a property is newly built, or whenever a new policy requires one, such as the boiler upgrade scheme. The certificate is valid for 10 years, or until another EPC is produced to replace it. You can find the current EPC for any property by searching the address or certificate number on the government website. The information provided on an EPC will differ dependent on your location. However, here are some of the common items you will find on one. The Energy Efficiency Rating As mentioned earlier, the energy efficiency rating is displayed as an A to G scale, with the least efficient buildings being rated a G and the most efficient rated an A. The rating is calculated using cost-based factors, such as the fuel used for heating, hot water and lighting. An EPC will also provide an indication of the environmental impact of the property. The energy performance breakdown of the property. The EPC will break down the features of a property such as walls, windows, lighting and heating and is accompanied by a short description of each feature. A rating will be provided based on the energy efficiency of each feature, from very good to very poor. In Scotland, each feature is rated out of five for its energy performance and environmental impact. The rating provided focuses only on the theoretical efficiency of each feature not their actual condition. The details you see on the certificate can also differ based on the property's location and its age. Recommendations and actions for improvement. A list of recommendations will be included on an EPC to help improve the energy efficiency of the property. Alongside each recommendation will be a typical installation cost and a potential rating after the improvement has been installed. The recommendations provided on the certificate should be completed in the order they appear on the EPC, as they are cumulative. Installing recommendations in a different order may impact the property's potential energy efficiency rating. Estimated energy usage and potential savings. The EPC will show an estimated energy cost for the property based on an average household usage, not based on how energy is actually used by the occupants of the property. Potential savings will also be shown on the certificate, based on the recommendation for improvement being followed. If your existing property needs a new energy performance certificate, you will need to secure the services of an accredited domestic energy assessor, or DEA. These professionals are qualified to undertake the energy assessment and generate your energy performance certificate. One of the easiest ways to find an accredited DEA in your area is to use the Find an Assessor search function on the Elmhurst Energy website. Entering your postcode and the assessment type you require will produce a list of Elmhurst accredited domestic energy assessors in your area, along with their contact details. Once you have booked a DEA to undertake your domestic energy assessment, it's good to be prepared and know what to expect. One of the most important aspects to domestic energy assessments is they are a non-invasive process this means no hammering, drilling or other damage will occur during the assessment. The DEA will need access to all rooms within your property, including your loft. They need to collect a wide range of data, such as property dimensions, insulation levels, heating systems and window measurements and glazing type. You will see the assessor taking photographs of these aspects within your property. This is normal, as they need to evidence the data they are collating. 
DEAs are regularly audited to ensure they are conducting energy assessments correctly. It's good preparation to make sure your house is tidy and all rooms are easily accessible to make the process as efficient as possible for the assessor. It is also worth noting that any documentation you can provide to prove insulation type, glazing type, boiler type or similar will be useful for your assessor and they may use this as evidence. Dependent on the size and complexity of your property, an assessment can take anywhere between 30 minutes and 2 hours to complete. After the domestic energy assessor has completed the assessment, they will submit the EPC to an online register and can provide you with a link to view it. One thing to take note of is that the methodology behind the EPC is being updated in spring 2024, which means that assessors will be required to collect even more data, increasing the time they spend at a property. This is the first change to the methodology in over 10 years, which will result in significant improvements to the accuracy and value of the EPC. But what is Elmhurst Energy's role in all of this? Although we do not directly deliver EPCs or energy assessment services to the public, we do support those that do through our government-approved accreditation scheme. Energy assessors accredited with Elmhurst Energy receive on-site technical support, access to regular training and software to help them to complete the job. In addition to this, as part of our operating requirements, we also audit a percentage of all EPCs that are submitted through our systems. Want to find out more or need an EPC for your property? Visit www.elmhurstenergy.co.uk